I think my biggest strength is that I have a passion for anything that I'm involved in. And I think that's critical to success. You have to have the drive to finish the job, to, to do what is necessary to get the job done. Well, I think my biggest strength really is my people. Um, my initials are on the company, JBE, but the people are really JBE. I think if I had to pick one, it would be challenging because I think a lot of them are interrelated, but probably my willingness to take risk may be at the top. I think every entrepreneur has to be willing to uh, take risk in life. I think my biggest strength is just never giving up. I think you've got to know what you're against and um, have a plan and just don't give up. The secret of our success is we, we plan and we work our plan and we hire good people. Uh, the secret to my success is, is I feel my family. Uh, all of my kids and wife is involved in the business. My grandson is involved in the business. And uh, having frank discussions with them and having them at my back uh, really, I think, is the reason for the success. Our tagline, uh, which is really the core of our business model, uh, says that there's more to banking than money, which really kind of centers around the idea that we exist to make a difference. Uh, my secret to achieving that has everything to do with finding people who are equally as passionate about doing that as I am. I'd say the biggest secret of all is being willing to give what it takes to get the job done. The secret to success is surrounding yourself with good people. You can't do it all, and you have got to have good people to help you get the job done. The reason why we chose to uh, grow the business here in the PD area is because of the business-friendly atmosphere that exists here. Uh, the PD uh, have a lot of friendly folks and businesses that uh, is uh, conducive towards growth, and so we knew that uh, this would be an excellent place to, to have it. Why did we choose? We didn't choose the PD. I guess they chose us because this is our home. We're from here and we've, we've grown, started in the PD and grew the PD and then went outside the PD in the state and then go into North Carolina and Georgia now. Well, my business has grown in the PD region because my family has been here for over 100 years. And uh, my family was in the hardware business and then we were in the hotel and restaurant business. 1985, we decided to open Carolina Supply House uh, and we've been at it for 30 years now. So, you know, we've been dedicated to this community um, in the supply business for a long time. The reason we have grown our business in the PD is we have a long heritage of the PD. And the PD also offers us everything that it takes to be successful. When we started our business, Florence needed a locally owned and headquartered bank. Uh, we're still the only locally owned and headquartered bank here. Florence is our home, this is where we'll grow our business because we feel an obligation to support the community that supported us. The best advice I've ever received probably is um, if you give enough people what they want, you get what you want. And that's, uh, that's helped us over the years as we plan and as we grow and as we think. Uh, if we give enough people what they want, you get what you want. The best advice I ever got was from a man named Marion Lucas. He came to a city council meeting one day and looked at me and said, uh, opportunity is like a set of doors. The trick in life is knowing when to walk through those doors because normally those doors are closed. And he was very much correct. If you don't take care of the opportunities when they present themselves to you, um, usually they will go away and you won't get that opportunity again. My mother told me a long time ago, uh, Jerry, always, whatever you do, make sure you keep your God in whatever you do. The integrity that you show towards people, uh, make sure that they could see it and uh, have your workers have the same attitude. The best advice I've ever received is to work hard, surround yourself with good people, and to be focused in and committed on your job. In 1998, when we were in the formation phase of our company, I had a friend of mine refer me to an executive coach. He walked into my office and he looked around and I had on my bookshelf three books. 
probably didn't have anything to do with what I was trying to accomplish at the time. And he told me then that if I did not become a compulsive learner, I probably would not succeed as a business leader. Since 1998, I've committed myself to a minimum of reading two books a month and keeping five mentors in my arsenal all the time, all the time so that I could have somebody to reach out to. He told me that uh, if there was an opportunity that I would ever have or a problem that I would ever face, that somebody before me had probably experienced it and written a book about it that I'd be well served to become a compulsive learner. And, and if you'll look around my office, you'll see that I have a bookcase full of books. And I've literally read hundreds, if not thousands, since then. So I'm not the smartest guy around, but I like to think I'm well read. And that's due to him. It's taken years off of my development as a business leader. To an up and coming entrepreneur, the advice I would give is that uh, to plan. Think about very seriously what they have in mind or want to do. Plan it and then work their plan. Uh, if they do that, I think that they could find uh, success in what they do. Put God first, I would say that first. And then I would say that you, if you don't already love your work, you need to learn to love your work. That's two of the things that I would think I'd tell an entrepreneur. Do something that you love. That, that's the best advice uh, anyone getting into business for themselves or whatever, you, uh, occupation you're in is do something you enjoy doing. Uh, too many people are in a job they don't enjoy so do something that you enjoy doing but then be willing to pay the price to make a success of it. Decide on what you want to do. Be committed to it. Go all in and remember that so often you only have one time to get the job done. I would um, say that if you're not really passionate about what you're doing, don't do it. If you're doing it for money, there's not enough money you can make to justify the sacrifices you and your family will have to make and the risks that you will be taking. It's important that, uh, that we give back to our com com community and I do it several ways. One, I'm on several boards. I'm on the hospital, I'm on the Florence and Island Tech Board, uh, and on the County Development Board. So I feel uh, putting myself out in that regard, trying to encourage other businesses to come here, as well as being a, a source of uh, uh, help in, in order to reduce the employment situation uh, is, is how I give back. Well, I've always felt like that those who are successful need to give back to the community in a proper way and I've always done that by trying to serve on the planning commission for the city years ago and then ran for city council was elected for two terms and then later I ran for county council and I'm serving my third term now on county council. I like giving back to the PD through a Christian based way. I believe in giving back to churches and those Christian organizations. We employ over 100 people here in Florence. Uh, 90 of them are uh, actively engaged in volunteer efforts uh, in community and charitable and civic uh, organizations within town. We give a lot of sweat equity back to uh, the community. It, it, while we can't write big checks all the time, we think it's part of our culture for our people to be a participant in giving back, and we do that. The Florence Dalton Tech College is so important is because of what it offers to the community, not only to the, the students that attend there, but to businesses. Florence Dalton Tech is absolutely important uh, for this, uh, this community. Having a technical school that is focused on uh, building and developing skill sets of our young people, I think is critical for um, our community to attract new business to the businesses to the area. Uh, you have to learn a skill set that can give you a good job and Florence Darlington Tech uh, provides that in this community and has for many, many years. Um, whether you're a welder or a nurse or what, wh whatever you want to be, Florence Darlington Tech has been at the forefront of providing a education that comes with a skill set that you're ready-made to go take a job.